Okay, so we're gonna fix this little area in here today. Um, I'm gonna use up probably the rest of this Bondo glass. There's not much left in there. So we're just gonna go from there. So what, what I'm basically gonna do, okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up uh, that Bondo glass and then I'm just gonna go over this whole door from right here and flatten it out. Plus, I'll, I'll even it out a little bit there and I'll less sanding. So, I can kind of feel it right there. The whole door panel is kind of low, but I'll worry about that later. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do, we're, we're just going to take a, a skiff going up that way. Take a toothpick. Go along the door. And that way I know what, you know, about what, what gap I need there. Because then we're going to take in my little... A little popsicle stick anyway and we're gonna go ahead and just sand it back and forth but we need to get that initial gap first so that's the easiest quickest way to do that so just do that open up the door clean off whatever mess you got there I mean whatever uh, take your toothpick you know clean up your gap there and then just go like that clean it up and you'll be ready to go so that's what we're gonna do I got to sand a little bit right there I can see where so I got to open up the door and kind of get this nice and flush first before I get going too far All right. so you can kind of see where I got a little crazy seat popped right off that way we get lot more smooth all right so you're just trying to push that stuff into the gap okay trying to get and clean up all the excess we can okay okay so now that we got that you take your toothpick just go up along your door to break that seal okay and then there you go see come right off now we can open up the door and we can clean up our mess right in there yeah, any of the big stuff, we can just take a towel and wipe it off. And we'll get all that major big stuff and anything on the inside here. There we go. All right, so now that gives us our edge here. So now we could just come in here and just kind of flatten it out a little bit bring in this this goop yeah kind of messed up the top a little bit but it's not gonna be perfect by any means okay so we'll have to come back in here and sand it down Oh, it's going to look like crap right first. Like I said, we're just letting it harden up. Get his initial grip on it. There we go. This has its fibers in it. We'll try that and we'll let this sit 
Oh man, come back and worry about it after it dries. So we can kind of see, see it'll be fine. But we needed to build it up within the inside, so that was the important part. And I gotta get a little bit more down in here. That definitely has to dry and harden up. So we'll, we'll have to come back. You can see we're gonna be, we're gonna be touching it again. Then you know what we can do? Let's go ahead and close it. And uh, we can take our toothpick one more time and just go up through here one more time. And that way, I know I got that. Okay, so there's our edge. All right. Oh, you can see how it, <laughs> how it set in there. Perfect. So even better. So we'll take a fresh one and just kind of cut into it like that. There we go. Add it down here. All right. Normally, I don't suggest using your finger, but it'll work. Just get your finger in there. Kind of get that inside. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That's gonna work. All right, we'll let that be and uh, let dry a little bit. Get that piece off there, I don't need that. Sweet. Then the next one, once those fibers sit, then we'll come in with the, um, the, the other Bondo and do it do a top coat over that once I get it sanded and see if I missed any spots or anything so okay that'll work and right here I still have a crack right there so we will I don't know if you can see it so right here still a little bit of crack and so I'm going to fiberglass it real quick and then also, I got this little hole. It looks like it. it's coming from right where this... Come on, go down. It's looking like where it comes, right where this screw is. So, looks like that screw... I don't know. You can... I don't know if you can see it, but that's where it looks like it came in initially and just ripped... Ripped and put a hole there. So we're going to fiberglass that over too. So that's what we're going to do next is fiberglass this area and this area so while this is drying we can go ahead and like i said fiberglass this and then this little okay, corner here so we're gonna just do that little crack here first so we'll put a little bit there and we're gonna try and put this over the top well, maybe I'll put it on the bottom. Let's try and put it on the bottom. I think it'll work better on the bottom. Yeah. Let's do it on the bottom. Let's get this on the bottom and that'll... Yeah, that'll give me a lot more support that way. Just need to... There we go. Take some more resin, dab it in, and that will hold that little crack from any more structural abuse. All right, I might put a little bit more right there, but. Real quick, I forgot.
It won't take a whole lot. Just gotta sand this down to where it has some grip. There we go. Down. That's all it'll take to fiberglass this. So same thing, just put a little bit on there. Right there. So when you have an easy access like this, you want to do one right here, and then go on the other side. Okay, put your resin on that side. this off a little bit there we go put it back into place and same thing with this one on the inside just like so this is gonna be the hard part getting this one it's not too bad of a spot just awkward And more on the inside. There we go. All right, got that. And this last one, one more across there. And then what you do is you just come back and you feather it in when you start sanding. And you're just dabbing it. Up a little bit higher. A little bit. Here we go. And that will hold that in place. And then just right here where that crack was, I'm just going to put some resin right there. And that should hold that in place really well. Because I got that back, that backing back here that'll hold it into place for sure. So it's not going to go anywhere. That's going to strengthen up, strengthen it up a lot. All right. See, you can already tell this is starting to harden up. So I'll give it another ten more minutes, and then I can come back and start sanding it. All right. So I'll get this little groove here. I'm using a file. The sandpaper is just too hard to get into there. So, we just want to make that little groove. And this is from that fiberglass that I did. A lot faster. Then we'll come in with the sandpaper. And smooth it out. Oh, by the way, like I said, if anybody has this piece for the other side, I'd really appreciate it. I'll, I'll purchase it off of you. You know, I would like to get that 
on the other side and get nice and flat set up on the other side I might be able to take I might be able to draw it out and build my own <clears throat> you know that's probably what I'll end up doing if if nobody can find me a piece so okay. then you want to sand flat you know your doors first before you start going on the inside sand it flat this way and then this way so even though it's not see how that line breaks right there right now that's fine because we're gonna come back and we're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna re put a, one more skiff of bondo over it that way that that line looks almost perfect on it all right Okay, so like I said, not perfect. So we're just shaping. There we go. And we'll get our little popsicle stick. And well, you know what? We're gonna need. We're gonna need just to put in the sandpaper first, just to get in between. See, we got a little bit of a catch up there, so let's open it up. And sand down that a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay, looking better. I just want to be able to take this and go in between the channels. Because this is what's going to give you your flatness. So a little bit right in here. See, I don't know if you can see how that line is straightening out. Just a little bit up in there. Oh, this. So now we have to come in here and just flatten this out. <clears throat> and that's no big deal. You just take your sandpaper, but you don't want to put the edge where you, you sand your edge. You want to be on the inside. So that's where you're going to be sanding is on the inside. Stay away from that edge and just kind of work your way. See how I'm folding the paper like this? And that will stay away from your edge and then work from this way up to your edge. Okay, so we got the initial shape. Looking pretty good all the way around, nice and smooth. For the most part, I mean, you know, for for just the shape, all right. I got to I've got to build up the corner a little bit, you know. But down in here and everything, that just that's just gonna take a little more sanding. So, but that's the initial shape. So now I got to fill in a little bit right there. So we'll get that U pole and 
fix a little bit right there. And this corner, and right here is where I missed. And then you can see, I gotta fix sand. This is the next one. So after I get this, then I'm gonna shut this and my door and see where I sit with that. So, but we can kind of close it. And it looks like it's pretty spot on going this way. But like I said, well, let's fix okay, up these so little areas first. Before I do any of that, I decide to close it. You can see my lines, and then you can see where I need to fix. So, straighten that out, and then we can straighten this one out. But that line overall looks pretty good going that way, so I'll just be able to sand this down and be fine with it. So I just kind of wanted to show, you know, that little groove there. And it gets a little tight right in here. Um, I don't want to do much more right through there. Not a whole lot. I'll take my popsicle stick just a little bit right through that area. But I don't want to get too All right, crazy. so that's that U-Pole Fantastic Glaze UP0922. And it filled in all these little, these little areas that, you know, are just small. And you can build it up pretty big because this stuff sands really good. You just get 80, 80 grit and it, it'll just sand All right, down. just a quick example how fast this, this sands down. I mean, this is just 80 grit. I'm just barely pushing. And just see, it just takes it off really fast and easy. All right. And that's my basic shape. And then I can go in with my... Um, you know, lighter or uh, finer grit, I guess you'd call it. So, and same with in here. Like I said, I'm not really pressing hard. I'm just kind of just getting it in that groove. where it'll flatten it. I'm really glad other people suggested this glaze. Uh, it works really, really well. I'm glad they suggested it to me. Because it, I mean, see, I mean, look how fast it's just sanding down. So, problem with these areas right here though like I said you can't really get nothing in there like block or anything so you just kind of have to use your hand and you can see it smoothing out little by little Real easy work. I mean, look at that. I just flattened out. Really easy. And I've learned a lot, believe it or not. And tomorrow we're going to go over and my coworker's son, he just got a, uh, a Fiero that he's going to be doing some work on. We'll talk to him a little bit. Uh, to be turning 16 soon and that's his first car and I'll let him explain more about it but you know I'm gonna kind of give an idea on how to do their body work and get them started because they're gonna try and do the same thing they're gonna try and just do a budget paint job Before I get too far on that, let me get the block on that one. That way it's nice and flat. There we go. And I could get my finger up in that one. Let's see if I can...
Might have to hit that corner one more time because it just bends in just a little bit. There. Now we're looking good, nice and sharp. We will bend it just a little bit. So we don't want it sharp, sharp. So we will have a little bit of a bend. Seeing along there just to Let's close the door and see if we screwed up our gap or not. No, it's looking real good. Okay. And that's actually looking pretty decent. I might just leave that. I don't know. Oh, I gotta, gotta sand this up here first. All right, I'm gonna leave it, it at that for these door gaps. We look really, really good going up this way connecting there so that's as close as I think I'm gonna get that uh, without messing with it too much more so we got a nice good gap there and then now we're coming this way looks good and of course that back that that back's fine so okay we got that done now let's start sanding the rest of this door huh uh, all I'm going to really do with the door is I'm just going to get the DA on here. You know, get it really rough and then DA it down to, I don't know, see see if I can get down to 800 on it or close to. And then that door will be ready to paint pretty much. Um, we're going to see what we can do right here because it does go in a little bit right through here. Um... So we can sand down a little bit right through there and see what we can do to fix it. So that's nice and flat right through here. Just right about here is when it starts building up. So Okay, so we're going to start with 40 and work along this edge here and see if we can feather it out a little bit and uh, get it closer and go from there. And then I'll just kind of stiff real Real easy across there, 40. Um, shouldn't be a whole lot, really. So, but you have to be careful on this, this edge, you know, where it kind of bends. So, that's why there, there's a little foam that kind of helps impact that. Okay. Out of battery. Out of battery. fast it gets gummed up um, flattened it out pretty good right through there um, I got a lot of rock chips right through there yeah, so let's see. Let's see. coming down will be easier maybe not <laughs> maybe come across there we go back this way Okay, that might be as close as I can get it. Get my toothpick. Okay. My toothpick. Since I already got the gap, it doesn't matter. Just go in there and dig it out. Okay. All that 
right in front of there. Thing along here, clean up. Get that sanding down a lot easier. Okay, then I got stuff up in here because I pushed that goop down in here. So I'm just gonna take a finger and wipe it down, get it out. Okay, so it's starting to get dark. Look like I got this good old light. But uh, I'm just going to DA this real quick just to get it nice and flat and smooth. And maybe in this area, get that bondo nice and flat. And, uh, and then we'll come back maybe in a day or two. And, uh, you know, now we'll hand sand this down a little bit more. So uh, the, rest of the, the rest of the door. And then we can fill in some of the areas that need to be uh, filled in with that that u-pole but overall this door is nice and flat so it's not going to take much at all i'm just going to feather it in and uh basically that's it after i get that and then i'll be ready to paint uh i want to take this though go all the way about halfway in and then i'll be able to paint that so paint the door and be able to put it back together once my other parts come so Okay, let me finish uh, sanding it. Okay. Oh yeah, much, much better. Yeah, much, much better. So then we glide across there really nice. It's looking nice and flat. Okay. Along the door. Get it nice and flat. Okay. Now a little bit on the inside here, where we all right. Well, that's where I'm going to leave off tonight. So did a little more work. Got all the hard part, the lines and everything, and now basically the door is almost done. And like I said, I'm, I need to get through here and get this cleaned up. You can see some of the cracks, let me show you. But in the, in the paint. Let's see here. Just take this off. So, see all the cracks and stuff. So, it's just because it's that little panel there so that's going to take a little bit of sanding but all right other than that we're uh we look pretty decent through there so and i'll just blend this in because this is all nice and flat right through here i just gotta scuff it up a little bit for the, the paint will adhere a little bit better right through here and then uh yeah, that, that panel will be ready to paint. So, then after after this, I want to take it up, like I said, to right about here. And do the same up, up on here. And then I'll go over to the other side. Okay, we're, we'll leave it off right there.
Good night, guys.